Hi, welcome back to McClatchy Maths. My name is Natalie McClatchy and today we are continuing our 2022 external exams series by looking at paper two, which was our complex familiar and unfamiliar questions. We're looking at question four on networks. And this was for Queensland general mathematics students. But if you're not in Queensland, Australia, this could still be helpful for you if you are studying networks anywhere else in the world or the country. So let's get straight into our first question here. It's worth five marks. The table shows the current road length in kilometers between six towns. Now the towns are unfamiliar names. Don't worry too much about that. Um, the question's asking us and telling us that the government plans to build a road between Manon and Farrah. Now you can see Manon here um, and at the moment there's no road between Manon and Farrah. There's no distance between the two but we're going to be building one. And they want us to create a network diagram that will determine the length of the direct road if it is to be four kilometres shorter than the length of the current shortest road between Manon and Farrah. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well hang on, there isn't a road between Manon and Farrah. No, there isn't directly, but you have to go through other places to get there. So let's start with drawing that network diagram to start with. So I've made a bit of space here. Um, so firstly, I'm going to just take all of the first letters of each of these places and I've just put them in a circle circle anti-clockwise, doesn't matter if it was clockwise or anti-clockwise, but I've just followed the order that's given here and made a little circle of them. The reason why I put them in a circle is it makes it easy to make those connections rather than trying to, um, if you put them in a row, it'd be really hard to create a network diagram. So firstly, I can take the information from here, from Manon to Viria, there's 16 kilometers. So this is a weighted diagram because we've got numbers. We need to actually represent them on here as well. So that's the first one that I've got here. I'm actually just going to work along first row, then the second row and so on. So the next one that I can see is Manon to Belint and that's 34. So I'm going to draw a straight line between there. You can use a ruler, you can freehand it, it doesn't really matter. The next one is across, coming across that top row. The next one is Manon to Allen and that's 33. So now I've finished that first row. I'm going to jump down now and look at Viria and um, I'm going to go across to B. Okay, so V, Viria to Belint is 12. If I come across this row again, I've got to now connect Viria to Allen. Now you could go directly across and make a big um, line across the network. That gets a bit messy. That's why I freehanded around and moved around the diagram as opposed to cutting through just to try and keep it a bit tidier. Okay, so I've now done the second row. Now I'm going to start from B, Belint, and go to Reason, and that's 10. That row's done. Jump down now to the next row, Farah. Here's my point out here. So far, no connections to anywhere. But Fana to Reason is 15, and then to Allen. Notice I've gone all the way around just to avoid crossing over. Um, 23, and then from Reason to Allen, that's done. And that's our last part of the network there, the 15. So what would be a good idea for you to do is to count in the table how many connections you've got and then connect count and just make sure you've got that many lines or edges in your network. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to be getting a first mark out of five for correctly representing the connected towns as a network. So I've got a, a network and also for putting those lengths on there as well, that was worth a second mark because remember it is a weighted network. Okay, so now that I've created this network, I'm going back to my question to see what else it wants me to do. It wants to determine the length of a direct road between Manon and Farah, and that's got to be four kilometers shorter than the current possible ways to get there. So if I look here at Manon to Farah, I want a road that goes through there, through my network. You can see now why I drew things on the outside just to keep it tidy. What I want to do now, this road here will be four kilometers shorter than the current shortest path. So I'm actually going to trace through the network all the different possible ways to get between M and F. You can see there's quite a few different ways that I could get there, lots of different pathways. Um, so I want to get the shortest way and then take four kilometers away. So let's look at this first pathway, M, A, R, F. So I'm going to work out those distances. I'm going to add them together, 33 plus 15 plus 15 again will give me a total of 63 kilometers. So that's my first one. So it's kind of a bit of a trial and error here. It's a bit tedious, but you've just got to work through it. Now I'm going to go my next one, MAF. 
33 plus 23 will give me 56 kilometers through this pathway. So you can see I've already found a, a it looked like a longer way just visually because it's not a scale drawing, but it's actually shorter. Let's find another pathway. M, B, R, F. This time I've got 34 plus 10 plus 15. That's going to give me a total of 59 kilometers, so a bit longer, not really the ideal pathway. And I've got another one, M, V, B, R, F even longer this time 16 plus 12 plus 10 plus 15 actually is 53 kilometers i found an even shorter way that's why you need to try all the different possibilities so that's our, our quickest way through the network if i go back any other way it's going to be longer so i need to find a roadway between manon and farrah that is shorter than 53 kilometers by four kilometers so i'm going to take that away now this was a mark here for working out mvbrf and um, also identify by adding those four numbers together I got my fourth mark so I'm nearly there with all the marks I've achieved so now I need to take that 53 take away four it will be 49 kilometers determining that new road length was my final mark for this question well did you find this helpful and useful I sure hope so and if you did you could connect with me a little bit further you could tell me in the comments how you found the video I really appreciate your feedback you could like and subscribe or follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And if you've got any questions at all, join me at McClutchyMass at yahoo.com. Always happy to hear from you there. Thank you so much for watching today. I'm Natalie McClutchy. Have a wonderful day.